Okay, what do we have here? This is a 1981 Volkswagen Rabbit pickup truck, aka Caddy LX, with the VNT 15 ball bearing variable nozzle turbo on a 1.6 liter IDI eco diesel with a 5 speed manual. Nice little 50 mile per gallon half ton truck. Still a good solid little truck. In the cab here, uh, the bad, don't think the temperature gauge works, haven't investigated it deeply. Fuel gauge does work, clock works, speedometer, all that works. Uh, the light on the oil pressure comes on when it has oil pressure, it goes out if it loses oil pressure. Uh, the rest of that pretty much works. Yeah, uh, oh. So, yeah, minor issues there. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that blows lots of air. Uh, oh, get my foot off it. Hazards. Uh, oh, we got a boost gauge here. With the VMT-15, it can run upwards of 16 pounds of boost. That's up to you. Right now we have it set where it limits out at about 6 pounds of boost. Uh, that is adjustable under the hood. Uh, we were installing an oil temperature gauge, but because the dash's water temperature gauge didn't work, we're using that as the water temperature gauge. And over here we have a pyrometer. Now when you're running upwards of 16 pounds of boost, your pyrometer temperatures can climb above 800. Uh, with it limited to 6 pounds of boost, that pyrometer stays respectfully down around 600. Uh, 1200 is really where things get are getting hot, but uh, to run the higher boost levels, it would be recommended to make use of the ports in the intake for a Aquamist injection liquid intercooler. Here, I'll show you some of that work. So underneath the hood here, we have the Arxley Dunn VNT. 15 adaptation to this 1.6 eco diesel. One of the things was a Mark II gasser intake manifold matched up easy enough to get a much nicer flowing plenum. As you can see, a lot of care and detail was taken into even building the trumpet 
for the J-tube feed horn from the VNT15 Turbo. That VNT15 Turbo has a fully sealed push you pull me wastegate. So you can program it to actuate by vacuum or pressure or a combination of both. Um, this intake manifold has a couple of 1 8 NPT fittings for uh, like a aqua mist liquid intercooler uh, water injection mist system or temperature probes or propane injection HHO etc. The bad is it does look like it could use a, a uh, valve cover gasket. There actually happens to be one in the parts supply. It looks like we might have a couple of wet injectors. They're leaking around the case a little. Now the injector bodies uh, are the uh, turbo injector bodies with a uh, side cut uh, nozzle which helps them be better self cleaning. Right there is good oil filter on it and the oil tap and feed line to the turbo. There's the fuel canister. It comes with a spare fuel canister. Uh, brake fluid's happy. It actually has a brand new installed clutch pressure plate and all that. And a new installed starter. Because The exhaust manifold is wrapped in turbo blanket. It's put in a socker or a whatever they call that. But anyways, it's got a turbo blanket wrap around it to keep the energy in the exhaust all the way up to the turbo and not in the engine compartment or induction system. Oh, here, let's start it for you. Okay, so with this truck, you get a spare tire, a spare tread, a studded winter pair of very barely used tires, in case you live in snow country. Uh, it comes with a VNT15 core. Now, what happened to this turbo is the intake impeller munched against the housing of the intake. Uh, the housing was loose. Anyways. Uh, a good fire extinguisher because I have been in a car fire. Uh, this is a scroll compressor. It has its intake and exhaust port fittings there. This scroll compressor is a near ideal expander to make use of the exhaust waste heat that this truck is set up to tap. This truck has a two inch exhaust system out the turbo with mandrel bends artfully grafted to a evacuation cone on the exhaust. So there's very low back pressure on that VNT15 as well. Now that exhaust system is wrapped with a chamber, uh, 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 a preheat and a superheat chamber uh, fore and aft as seen in the underneath pictures that uh, can be used with this steam engine 
to make use of the waste exhaust heat and expand it through organic ranking cycle steam generator. And that scroll compressor will decompress the st steam or the organic fluid like R134A really nicely to extract the heat from the exhaust. Now what you can do with that power is you can decouple all the parasitic loads off the diesel engine such as the vacuum pump which uh, this comes with a vacuum pump right here an electric vacuum pump so basically make all your loads electric and you uh, couple this to a, your alternator and then the engine doesn't have to waste horsepower spinning the alternator to make electricity that you have uh, in a bounds you can also physically couple the power with a brushless motor back to the crankshaft and make the thing a hybrid anyways i'll go on uh there is a reverse impeller uh, a spare uh, uh, oil housing, uh, miscellaneous Volkswagen bolts, hoses, oil cooler, uh, hood light, split hose, uh, uh, turbo connector, oh, there's that uh, vacuum pump again, uh, turbo gasket kit, uh, a uh, dash cluster out of that same Mark II that the uh, uh, intake manifold came off. Of course, a uh, rag, a jack, uh, 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 a pair of lug wrench, a uh, toe strap. Uh, here is a white face, black on white matching gauge that can be put into the cluster there. Uh, it is a uh, aneroid type temperature sensor that we got for the water uh, thermostat uh, glow plugs oil pressure sensors coolant temperature sensors a pneumatic valve to go with the uh, binaural wastegate on the VNT 15 turbo uh, this is a, a two-stage uh, a thermostat for the radiator where you could like have shutters that block off the grill until a certain engine temperature is reached and then the shutters would open and then only when the engine started breaking a sweat which it doesn't really do very often would the cooling fan kick on uh, yeah that looks like another oil temperature sensor PCV valve which is handy in plumbing some of the unique surfaces that this vehicle has a dome light uh, a couple of uh, fluid reservoirs and pumps that can be used to supply the aquamis liquid intercooler other various parts that belong to the truck stock original oil uh, uh, filter diesel fuel filter if you need turbo hosing there's a spare fuel filter and oil that comes with it also there's a bit of an unused rebuild kit here with a timing belt oh these boots w w would be nice to get those put on the front rack and pinion a couple of spare bolts uh, a spare bushing kit for the transmission shift lever bulbs things for the doors uh, yeah gaskets seals and stuff a uh, nice little tool kit that matches the truck, has most of the basic wrenches that are sometimes needed. Uh, a couple more turbo couplings, exhaust coupling, and that kind of stuff. So that's, that's the parts bag that you're going to get in this deal uh, to continue this interesting little project here.